On Capitol Hill this morning, House Republicans are having their first full conference meeting since a stopgap funding measure was shared by two groups within the party. However, the plan has sparked backlash from some members. House Democrats are also meeting after sending a letter to Speaker Kevin McCarthy outlining their response to the short-term spending proposal. Nicole Killian is joining us now from Capitol Hill to talk about this. Um, what are the Democrats requesting in their letter, and how likely are they uh, to, are those things you know, to actually go through. Yeah, well, this was a letter that was sent on behalf of the new Democratic coalition, which is a, a wide variety of Democratic members. You know, their ask is pretty simple. They're just asking Speaker McCarthy to kind of stick to what was agreed to, you know, just to walk people uh, back a bit. Obviously, there was a lot of discord last spring over this issue of the debt limit, whether it should be raised. A deal was struck at that time with the Speaker and the White House, and as part of that agreement, Agreement. Uh, there was this agreement that, in terms of spending, that they would move to regular order, that appropriations bills would be passed. If not, uh, there would be uh, some repercussions from that, and that spending levels would be held at current spending levels. Instead of spending more, they would just hold evenly, right? So basically, the Democrats are saying, look, you agreed to this back in May. We want you to continue that, because there are two fights going on right now. One is regarding the short-term spending bill. The other is regarding the general appropriations process. Typically, it should work where you have both chambers pass a dozen appropriations bills to fund the government. Unfortunately, they can't do that all in the month of September. They need more time. That's why they need a short-term spending agreement. So what the Democrats are saying is, we just want you to follow the process. We want you to pass these regular appropriations bills. Let's not load them up with all of these poison pills and culture war amendments. Just let's move forward in a nonpartisan matter and, and way. And then with regard to the short-term bill, let's include things like disaster relief and Ukraine funding, which is what the president has asked for. And right now, this GOP proposal that was put out uh, yesterday does not include that. Mm, okay. And that sort of brings me to when you talk about don't put any poison pills in there or culture war things in there, that's part of the challenge that the Republican Party is having with itself. Can you kind of break down the division that we're seeing within the, the GOP? Well, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so, uh, look, just focusing strictly on this short-term spending bill, because that's the more immediate concern, right, so that mm -hmm. we don't have a government shutdown at the end of the month. Again, you have a group of House Republicans, members of the Main Street Caucus and members of the House Freedom Caucus, so a group of moderates, conservatives, coming up with this agreement uh, to fund the government for an additional month through October 31st. It would cut spending across the board by 8 percent, with the exception of agencies like the Defense Department, Veterans Affairs, and it does not include that disaster relief funding or Ukraine funding. So that's why it's kind of a non-starter for Democrats, which, as we just discussed, want that included in any type of continuing resolution. The issue is that we've seen a lot of pushback, especially from hardline Republicans and more conservative wings of the party uh, that say they don't care, you know, they don't believe that spending should be held at current levels, that we should continue to fund the government at current levels, even if it's just for a month. So that's the issue that they have with this particular bill. And right now, it doesn't seem that there is the support to move it forward. And so Speaker McCarthy a short time ago said that he believes he can flip votes. And that's basically what he's going to have to do. He's hmm. going to have to flip some members of his own party to support this if he wants wants to move forward, because, again, Democrats won't unless Ukraine funding, disaster funding is attached. Right now, Republicans, some Republicans won't support it because they don't want those spending levels to continue as they currently are. So that's kind of really the <laughs> rock in the hard place <laughs> that the speaker finds himself in right now. And once again, going to be making deals that may come back to haunt you later on. Uh, Nicole, thank you. You bet.